just a moment. A man is dead after the car he was riding in flipped and caught fire. According to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Department, the car was traveling north on Fairview Road when the deadly crash happened. News Channel 9's Karen Zakalak was on the scene and found out this is not the first accident in that location. Karen. Jessica, neighbors say the road is hilly and curvy, mapping out bad conditions, especially for speedy drivers. After an accident a week ago, those neighbors said they hope it doesn't take someone dying there for people to slow down. Unfortunately, that became a reality last night. Flames take a car and a life early Sunday morning on Fairview Road in Big Ridge. Later in the day, the burned leaves and broken glass remind drivers just how dangerous this road is. Got hills and also once you crest this particular hill, there's a slight curvature in the road. And when you're going 70 and 80 miles an hour, uh, typically they go off and overcompensate. Which is exactly what police say happened to the car that was heading northbound, crossed over the opposite lane, and ended up here on fire, with both driver and passenger trapped inside. Our officers did everything possible to get everybody, you know, both the passenger and the driver of the vehicle. Unfortunately, you know, they were not, you know, and we feel for the family who lost, you know, their loved ones. Officer Ron Rice says there have been many other wrecks on this stretch of road. Bill Rogers lives at the top of this hill on Fairview Road and has witnessed most of them. When you hear a car hit like that, it's just a very distinct whoop. And, uh... Like I say, the first time you hear it, it's not too bad, but after you hear it time and time again, it gets to be a, a sound you do not want to hear. Rogers heard it just a week ago when Kevin and Mary Byers' daughter Amy hit the exact same tree. It could have easily been our daughter. It, it could have easily been Amy who, who crashed into the tree, you know, and her car caught on fire. It's just amazing what the speed can do. Fortunately, their daughter walked away okay, but now this familiar crash site is a fatal scene. Now, police have not yet released the names or ages of the two men in the car. We know the driver is okay, and Officer Rice tells us this is the fourth fatal accident on Hamilton County roads this year. Jessica. Karen, thank you.